Hello Space Engineers, welcome back to Hyphestus Prime, thanks for joining me today, hope everybody is well. Now, what are we up to today? So I'm going to get out and about today, I'm going to be going up to one of the mountaintops. So more on that later, because yeah, keen to get out of the tunnel, but first we will go into the tunnel and have a bit of a meandering wander around and see what's sort of been happening. Uh, been doing a bit of stuff, been bogged down a bit with the centipede nest and some other stuff as well which will become apparent rather shortly and somebody will want you to meet so let's head inside and get on with the day so i guess the big thing is that i've bought a new computer so i've uh, had a good computer which uh, still works really well and, but uh, i just find with uh, the type of stuff that i'm doing now with the high festus prime and some other projects i've got on that it's uh, not struggling but it's kind of working to its max so gone with uh, something else that's a bit more powerful and can sort of deal with the work a bit easier. Now as I said, absolutely nothing wrong with my old computer. So this presents me with a little bit of an opportunity for a second set of eyes. So allow me to introduce the other Wellington 6012. Now I'm not intending to use him 24 seven all the time, just might be occasionally that I load him up and use him in the background for some uh, cinematic type thing that I wanna do. So yeah, that's uh, quite cool. So I'll just park him up and log off and get on with today. Now everything's gone pretty smoothly on the new system, uh, required an awful lot of downloading, but uh, managed to transfer over my saves for space engineers, that sort of thing relatively easy just took a little while the only struggle that i've had has been with the sound so i do apologize if it's not sounding right it's taken a lot to get it uh sort of the microphone settings right and all that sort of stuff uh, but also just the whole volumes and i think that was probably an issue with my old sort of computer that the sound card just wasn't quite operating properly i did have a few issues with it i certainly seem to have a lot more sound than this compared that's the thing so you can probably hear a lot more of the background sort of noises going on so yeah but back to business uh the last episode as i sort of uh trailed off into the sunset i was doing a bit of a montage for all the various arms that i put in so i put in a couple of extra storage arms for the centipede module still a few more to go but they have taken an absolute eternity to put in so i think that sort of five minute sped up montage thing that i did actually took me about two or three days <laughs> So there was about three or four of those arms that I did off camera and I've still got at least a couple more to go, uh, one for a new module that I'm going to do today. Now the plan for today is to get out of the tunnel and out into the open. So I'm going to put a relay station on one of the mountain tops. So this is uh, the one that you saw poking up out of the atmosphere on the intro over in that sort of direction, which uh, is that, oh, which way? That's west, west over there. And yeah, it's quite high, I believe, well, given it's poking out of the atmosphere. So I'm going to need a high altitude module for the centipede because the atmospheric thrusters uh, will be limited up there, I imagine. So I'm going to make a hydrogen module. So this is just a module that will have some hydrogen thrusters to give that sort of lift to the centipede. Yeah. First up, though, I'm just going to retrofit one of these connectors with a piston so I can just raise it up off the ground a little bit and that way I can sort of jack up the CTP and get underneath it so yeah it's not going to be the last module that I'm going to do so it's good to get underneath them. Alright so on to the hydrogen module now I'm going to put two tanks on here I think yeah it will make it sort of the same size as the storage modules because those tanks are pretty relative uh, size to the large cargo containers. And yeah, going with two, then that means I can sort of uh, potentially use it as a bit of a fuel tanker as well. Yeah, so, hmm, just, I'm not quite sure how it's all going to sort of work out. I mean, I know how it's going to work out, but in regards to the functionality and use of this module, it really is just a high altitude module. I can't really see it being a module that I'll go to space with, although I did consider that with the centipede, but... I think I'll have sort of separate vehicles for going up there and I'll just give my own personal hydrogen a little bit of a top up while I'm here. There does seem to be sound wise something a bit iffy with uh, my jetpack so I'll have to have a little bit of a look at that. My apologies if it is a little loud. Still very much just trying to come to grips with the sound on this new rig. Uh, voice included, it 
uh, it does seem to be quite loud. Once I finish this module and before I head up the mountain I'll have another play with the settings. So just uh, please bear with me. Now just thinking about an O2 H2 generator, probably stick one in the middle here between the two, yeah, between the two tanks. So I'll leave a bit of a gap, uh, yeah. And I will have some downward thrusters, hydrogen thrusters, some uh, fairly large ones, so that'll give me plenty of boost. It's not any high altitude, you know, if I do get a heavy load having this module on, I think will give me quite a substantial uh, thrust boost. So yeah, that'll be quite good. I'll just dial up the uh, O2 generator and pop it on the toolbar. Go. And yeah, I'll just try and link it into one of those conveyor junctions up the top there. So yeah, that's going to click into there. And then I'll pop a, another tank on the other side of it. So I'll have um, some outlets at the bottom of the O2. I can just use the one by one conveyors to link up with the thrusters. Now that tank is not connecting to the right spot. Spot. Okay, I'm just going to have to pack out underneath, I think, so I can mount on. I'll pop a battery in, because that's as good a spot as any. Just leave that little gap for the 1x1 conveyors to get out. There's a good spot. Uh, I'll just finish these off now. Just over here. Now hopefully that uh, second tank will uh, connect on there. Yeah, it should fit now. I've got the uh, conveyors up above as well. There we go. Marvellous. Now, once I uh, complete this, what I'll probably do is start to get some ice uh, sort of happening, converting into hydrogen, so I might as well get these tanks full. I have actually got an O2 generator on the base and a spare tank, just a temporary one. It's uh, sort of up the end. So I might just put a drill head on that quickly to get a bit more volume of ice. Alright, so I'll just uh, duck under here. So yeah, it's right down the end um, near the entrance. And that's where the ice is, of course. I will be putting a ice a hydrogen facility in the base at some point, but this is still just a temporary thing. So yeah, that's where I've sort of been getting my hydrogen from, because I, I have had the beast disconnected. Just uh, all powered down so I don't sort of uh, have so many things on my inventory and whatnot. So I'll just chuck some uh, connectors on here which will just be relatively temporary. I, yeah, I'll probably do something a little bit more permanent when it comes to a proper ice mine and hydrogen facility. But this will just get me going for now and get the centipede all filled up nice and quick. And then I'll get back to throwing a few thrusters on the module and yeah, then I'll just have to put a skin on it and then we should be all good to go. Right, glad that's uh, finally on there. I did have a little bit of trouble getting it to fit. I had to handle out, as you can see. It's uh, all done now. I'll just get rid of the last of this and then we'll turn it on briefly and extend it briefly i don't think we're going to need to put lots in there they're not massive those uh fuel tanks on the centipede module certainly it'll be a different story when we get our base sort of supply happening that's that going and let's change it on here so just call it nice piston so there it is and just get it uh, pushing in a little bit. There we go, got there in the end. Marvellous, that's awesome. Okay, back to the module. All right, let's just uh, see how we're going. Uh, 17%. So yeah, that's um, that's filling up quite nicely. Uh, right, on to the thrusters. Now that that's all sort of happening, and yeah, just need to think about where they're going. So I'm going to have to have uh, a reasonable amount of them. So probably the three each side. So six thrusters back and forth. Uh, and then some downward and the big ones upward because uh, of course if it is just the, essentially the hydrogen thrusters actually I'll just chuck some timers in here as well 
uh, if it is just the hydrogen thrusters then they potentially are pushing the whole machine so when it comes time to stop and start and go you know, sideways that sort of thing coming for landing we'll need a little bit of uh, agility there so hmm uh, yeah I'll just put these timers in because just a future proof it's good having uh, spare timers in here and I do need uh, two yeah two uh, I think two yeah four no, I need four for um for the module for the whole docking process. That whole docking thing takes about ten timers, I think, to run. Which is uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, so there's um there's a little bit of a gap there still for the conveyor. Now I've got room on top there for a connector and one at the back. Marvelous. All right, just pop these conveyors in here, and that will get ready for the large downward thrusters. I think just two is going to be enough. Uh, I mean, I've got that battery there now, so even if I do want more than that, that's uh, a bit too late. Uh, just uh, where are they on this one? So there, so across uh, off that top conveyor junction, I can probably put the back and forth ones. So I'll just uh, hook them straight into there. Outer parts. Just grab some more of those. Alright, so that's uh, the mounting's just about all done. There we go. Uh, oh. No, they're in the wrong place. I need to be another block out. Mm. I'll uh, just get rid of these ones and we'll put, uh, put them on the edge. again and I can just probably use regular conveyors yeah so what I'll do is I'll um I'll get these thrusters put on and laid out and then essentially that's the whole sort of uh, skeletal structure the operational structure e everything else after that in fact yeah everything else apart from the landing gears is just purely a cosmetic uh, covering yeah just using those um, regular light blocks which I wonder if I should have... Ah, too late now, I'm not going back and just whether I even needed the, the regular blocks or whether the skeletal structure would have looked better. So what I'm going to do is, because time is pushing on and we've still got a bit to get through, I've still got a mountain top to climb yet, I'll just put these uh, few, this, this handful of thrusters on and probably one of the large ones too. Uh, and you'll have an idea of what I'm doing and then I'll um, just uh, probably fast forward through the rest and that will give us time to get up the top of the mountain and um, throw this relay station in.
right, so I think I'm just about there now. I'll get some more energies. Uh, yeah, so this is the last little bit. It's gone quite well, actually. It's gone very well. I guess I must be getting good at building these modules. Now this is my, I don't know, eighth one or something. That said, still had to move a few things uh, two or three times as per my normal uh, building method. Hmm. Now, I did decide to keep the hydrogen tank somewhat exposed, so you can sort of see them in there. Uh, actually, just mm, not quite happy with those lines that are coming off those horizontal thrusters. I might just adjust that once I've got some power, but uh, yeah, that's, um, that's pretty much it. So yeah, quite happy with that. It's quite open and light. Uh, yeah, right. So I'll just recharge and put some finishing touches on this and then we'll get ready to head up the mountain. All right, just put the uh, production bypass on, so it's just all gonna empty into that other container so I can keep it uh, isolated and put it into the ship. All right, so we just produce some stuff. Batteries, can need one of those. Container, maybe a container. I'll, I'll take it with me and a few conveyors as well. Because normally I use that for a turret, but I will have a turret, but I'm not sure if I'm actually going to have it hooked up to a conveyor system. Uh, where's the ladders? Yeah. Uh, I'll just grab one of those stairs, because I have got an idea of using that. But yeah, the, the turret's probably, rather than actually being used in anger, it's probably going to be more for me to dial into to control and use the camera on it. Yeah, because it will be quite high there. Uh, oh, there's a turret there. Sweet. So I'll grab one of those. Oh, and there's those ladders, so I'll grab some of them. Uh, I might just go over to the other uh, assembler now. So where were we down by the turrets? Down this one. Yeah, there we go. Uh, uh, just need a rotor and a hinge. More for adapting than anything. So a small grid. There's the antenna. Uh, need one of them. And four solar panels. And I'll just chuck some other bits on as well. Right. So I think that's most things. I will just grab some extra steel and other bits and pieces uh, just out of a component container. But we'll have to let that do its thing first. Now on the way over I am going to swing by the trading outpost. Because I have got a couple of outstanding contracts. So just reading my bit of paper to see what I need. Some lines. And some silicon as well which is there and a couple of other components which i'll just keep in my personal inventory uh, and fingers crossed it would be quite good to pick up a hauling contract back to that other trading post that's over in the desert because i'm headed over that way so whether i get a hauling contract or not uh, i'll still probably head over there after completing the alpine relay station I mean, that's sort of the reason why I'm putting the relay station where I am to open up that side of the map and uh, still have a bit of a view on things, not so solitary. Uh, uh, the demo, I'll need some. Actually, I might just put that in the main cargo container. Uh, yeah, so I want to visit that training post and a bit more often, so I will actually take up some contracts for zone chips in particular because that seems to be the only place that I can sort of get them. But the relay station isn't the main communication stuff. This is just what it says on the box, just a basic relay station. So just an antenna, really nothing else. Okay, so I better just check out how the production is going, whether I'm able to fill up the centipede yet. Yeah, still got a little while to go, so I'm going to just take a seat and wait for this to finish, and then we'll load up. Okay, we're all manufactured. I've just uh, put a few extra bits and pieces in, uh, alongside, of course, emptying out the container that was um, made to order. Uh, it all just fit into the one storage module, so that's uh, good. And not overweight either, so yeah, quite happy with uh, how that's gone. So we could just take in the one module. But we'll take the battery one as well, just for a little bit of extra power, but more so for the long duration. As I say, we, I will be going to the uh, other trading post afterwards. But how cool are those arms, the unstowing and the whole centipede nesting? And pop, 
goes that one and pop goes that one haha <laughs> awesome right so we'll just uh, connect this up now when they landed on the ground there was an automatic docking system that set in motion so all I need to do is just back up to the merge block and it will connect and connect the conveyors and turn everything on so there's one and I don't actually think there's got any thrusters on that batch oh no it does have some on the battery module hmm it does seem to be dragging on the ground a bit but it is going and two awesome and we're away so no double checking stuff no going into settings it's all set ready to go so just if we can get out of this tunnel without crashing it's not really the best view but uh, we'll just persevere and get to the entrance and we're out haha <laughs> up we go just as the sun's coming up good timing How's that? That's awesome. That's uh, that has just made life so much easier. That um, centipede nest, and yeah, we're looking pretty good there. Yeah, this centipede has really come a long way since I really sort of started first thinking about it. Yeah, bit of an ugly thing, but a good ugly. Yeah, I quite like this. Right, uh, already just about at the trading post, so we'll have to begin the braking procedure. Okay, so just a real quick visit here today. Uh, everything's, turn everything's turned off, that's good. Okay, so let's have a look in here. Uh, we'll just cash in these contracts first of all. One two, three, four, five, easy peasy, right, uh, hauling, no, it's not it, I'm looking for one that's about 50 k's away, and they are all miles away, all right, so we won't be doing that, we're just going to have to go without um, making any money, I'll just quickly check these acquisition contracts, because I can't resist as well, uh, but they're all looking pretty meh. I just prefer to go for the real basic ones like the, you know, sort of um, ingots and stuff. But we'll uh, continue on with our mission and we'll head up to the summit of the new mountain. Not new, I mean it's been there the whole time, it's the first time I've been up there. And I do have a name for it, which I'll uh, discuss later. Alright, so I think we must be just about maxing out our sort of atmospheric thrusters altitudes. Uh, what altitude are we? Uh, yeah, uh, over 5,000, so they will be starting to struggle a bit. So I guess now we turn on our hydrogen ones, give them a bit of a boost. So I've got that set up in the menu bar, so put that on. Uh, hmm. Not really made any difference. Let's just have a look. Oh, it's because the um, things, the tanks are still on stockpile. All right, well, I'm turn oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, now they're working. <laughs> Fantastic. Awesome. And they're, yeah, they're, they're uh, they, I don't think they can do it by themselves, but they can certainly assist the atmospheric thrusters. So, yeah, I don't think this is going spaceward, just based on that. Because they're working pretty hard, those downward ones. So that's uh, looking pretty cool. I might just take some photos for when I publish this on the workshop. But we're just about sort of on top of the peak now and I've got to figure out a landing site. I think that's sort of the highest point. Oh, what am I getting here? Oh, oxygen. Close the mask. Uh, yeah, so I think it's, yeah, that's, that's definitely the high spot, just uh, not there at the high spot. So we'll come in for a landing. I will put a little bit of a landing pad up there just so I've got somewhere level but we'll just find a somewhat level bit of ground. Right, gently, gently. It is uh, pushing the limits being this high up and really only having the uh, hydrogen thrusters doing anything. And of course I've got quite a load on board. But, uh, we're down. Aha, uh -huh, touchdown. So we'll just shut everything there. So first thing I'm going to do is just pop in a little bit of a landing pad 
just something that is it's not going to take the whole centipede all it needs to do is just really take the command module and just have a a uh, connector to connect to for powering up because i probably will use the reactors while i'm here just to uh, give the new battery a bit of a top up once again i'm just going to use a set of uh, solar panels to power this little uh, mini outpost and yeah, all it's really got to power is the antenna. There's there's not going to be anything else up here. I'm not doing uh, any facilities whatsoever. So it will just be a very stripped down uh, outpost uh, relay station. I mean, that's all it's going to do. It's just, just an antenna. All right, so that's the landing pad kind of done. Uh, I'll have to put a battery in in order to power it up so I can land the centipede on it. Uh, as I say, it's not really, it's not going to be that functional. It's just, if I do happen to come up here again, I, it's just a target probably. <laughs> Somewhere flat to land. <laughs> uh, I won't be putting a conveyor tube in and stuff. So, yeah. so anyway, um, there's still quite a bit to do. And we have uh, ploughed through this episode. So I think with the, just the last sort of five, ten minutes, we'll do a bit of a montage -y thing. And uh, see, see how all this goes. And we'll hopefully, fingers crossed, Come back with the uh, finished thing.
with everything I've been building and the extra power my suit needs since it is uh, freezing uh, I am running out of energy so I give myself a bit of a top up so as you can see it's snowing outside and clearly that cockpit is not airtight because it's freezing in there too but anyway we're all done and I'll show you around uh, Mount Edison named after Thomas Edison so there's the antenna I've got that set to 50 kilometers so that is able to have a pretty good uh, coverage over this area powered by these four solar panels which I've just got an uh, unfinished hinge there sort of flopping over so hopefully that gives a good angle that we can make the most of the sunlight and we'll climb up the top of this tower and have a look at the turrets I'll put a ladder up the side of it so a little bit of a different layout from all the other turrets that I've got ugh, it's time forever yeah, I think I might just fly up there Ooh. Oh, ouch. Okay. Jumping off was a mistake. <laughs> Won't do that again. Anyway, uh, looking at the turret, it's set up for defense, although I can't really see anything getting up this high. So what it is useful for is I will be able to tap into it via the antenna to start uh, heal myself. <laughs> oh, I'll remember not to jump off that ladder again. Uh, yeah, I can tap into the antenna and control the turret. And then just have a look through, see what's going on around the place, which I'll sort of get a general idea. There's the moon. I will get up there eventually. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'd be able to pick up any bases or anything that are out there, but like there's one over in that direction. But yeah, just uh, good to have a bit of an overview of the area. And that Mars looks so cool down through the camera. But uh, yeah, so that's um, that's pretty much it really. I won't show you underneath, but it is all connected via subterranean tunnels. Uh, again, a bit of a rabbit warren under there, but yeah, really happy with how it's come out. So that's all we've really got time for today. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do next episode, apart from going to that trading post in the desert. And yeah, we all remember what happened last time we went down there. We got chased home by an atmospheric fighter. So <laughs> I haven't really got any great plans for the next episode because I'm just really going to have to see what sort of comes out of it. So that is us. Thanks everybody for watching. Hope you did enjoy today. Uh, sorry about the sound if it's a bit iffy. I've been battling with it all episode and yeah, hopefully things go a bit better next time. Stay safe out there. Have a good one. Catch you next time.